Hey you guys, this is Miss D at D Special Things. Um, I don't have a new project per se. I have an ongoing project that I'm actually working on and I want to go ahead and finish it. It's a baby book for my niece and um, yeah, I want to go ahead and finish it. So what I've been doing here is I've been finishing these little dies. I think I showed you um, the die set. Yes, it's this one right here, a Cottage Cuts. Um, and I got this from Scrapping Cottage. And uh, I want to do a whole bunch of these and a few of these in the blue colors. Um, and as you can see, the front of the book so far. Well, I need to place the little face on every place that I've done so far of actually I want to put it on here I want to put it on this slot here yes and uh, this is I want to put it right here on this envelope and on this little uh, which column here I also made a I could show you with this slot I did not back this because you can also stick something behind this pocket okay but I want to put a let me go back I want a I want to put these little bears on every single page and this is let's see if I could show you the total book so far all right this is the front of the book and it's not finished yet and this little guy that's peeping over are the ones that I'm going to make a bunch of. And I'm going to put them on every page. Um, yeah. So then I'm going to put it two times on here. I'm going to put it on here, the little bear. Let me show you what it'll look like. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Or I can even just put it on a paper clip and I think that's what I'll do put a lot of them on paper clips and just slide them on there now how cute is that yes and uh, so she could just kind of pull this whole thing out and journal on this page and I want her the baby name birth date and you know mom dad all that information on this first card here um, yeah and this is the back side of this page I've done that so far I'm gonna have two frames and I'll show you how I'm gonna do them they're not gonna be the same size and they'll be smaller than this space right here and I'll have two frames that I'm going to use my we are memory keepers frame uh, punch board to make those frames I'll come back and show you the entire completed um, book. This is the back side of the book. This is the last page of the book. Okay. This is the next page. I'm also using all of these little discs right here. I'm going to put the number of the month. Like if this is the, a picture for the third month and then the fourth month it will be here. So you could put a picture here and still slide one under there. Um, I might stamp these images in a blue color. Yeah. Um, and then I have these pages are pages that I have not done. But I want to finish this book today. And this is what I'll be working on most of the day. So I didn't have new projects for you. But I did want to show you what I was doing. So I'm trying to make a bunch of stuff and then uh, go back and put all of the pages together. That's working better for me. So right now I cut out a bunch of these little guys right here. And I'm actually using this little Jane Davenport makeup kit. And it has the blush. It comes with um, 
it looks like this it looks just like a little compact makeup case yeah and these it comes with three of these little doodads and that little applicator the new tips for the applicator and excuse me it comes with this lipstick yeah so I am using it and I'm finding that this is a cream pastel and I'm finding that I almost have to make sure it's wet when I apply it if I you know kind of wipe it out I guess pigmentation isn't really um, strong with this strong is the right word it's not that I guess it is if you use a lot of it but uh <laughs> I used quite a bit there didn't I yeah so I'm gonna try it this way you yeah, see once you apply it you have to keep you know picking it up the blush stuff is that blush or is that eye cream I don't know which one it is but it's working for me so I'm going to continue using it but as far as the baby book that's what I'm working on today and then too I have some extra stuff and I got it all together and I was going to give it away as a just a giveaway but I sent pictures of it to my sister and she said she didn't have it so these are the things I'm actually putting in a box for her and sending them away. Um, yes. I am going to, I was going to make her nameplate, but then I decided that I might still make it. I decided to go ahead and send her the towel, the towels, and the towels and the stand so that she could make her own I think I'll send her the paper dolls too and uh, yeah let her make her own then I had a mini envelope punch board this was an extra one so I'm sending her that and a tab punch board I'm gonna go ahead and send her that with a fuse kit the photo sleeve fuse kit I'm also sending her this I know this is a part of a kit and I think I have another one but I'm, I figured I didn't need both of those I saw that I had one in a kit so I'm sending her this I think this is uh, I think I've had this for a minute but it's good for mixed media stuff I'm gonna try to get her box put together today I am actually sending her, putting her together, some of the projects that are stuff to actually create with the projects that I did. I think you all saw this bag that I used the wax. Uh, let me show you which bags. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is, this is, yeah. These bags, wax paper sandwich bags, I got them from Amazon. They come in a three pack and I don't even think they were that much, but you get 50 bags for a three pack of them for, I don't know, it's not that much you guys, um, but three boxes it's not. And then they're glassine bags, so yeah. And I also ordered some from, mm, and these came from Amazon too and they are not as waxy but they're still glassine bags and they're by Saybrook and they come 125 these are natural soil blend echo wax uh, bags and they're craft and I don't know if they come in white but uh, I did order white and I'll show you that uh, so I'm putting her together a paper uh, Pack so that she could actually make her own. I use rubber ones, but you can use anything. Um, yeah, you can decoupage them like here. I had started this one. I use transfers. Let's see here. 
I started doing some of them. I coffee stained these. Actually, these, some of them I stamped. You can stamp them before you coffee dye or afterwards. And they look like this. Oh my gosh. How antique are those? Yeah, they came up really nice. I figured I would send her one so she could see what it looks like. I sent her some of the bags she could make her own. I also sent her some of the white ones. And I made this bag here. And I used these rub-ons from Prima Marketing. And I'm going to go ahead and send her this pack of bags with an example. But she'll need rub-ons because I'm... I don't have any more to send her. <laughs> but anyway, this packaging that comes in on those rubber ones, it comes like this. Use it. It makes the perfect presentation. Look at that. That is that backing. So I'll cut that across and use that, yeah, as a package. Isn't that nice? But yeah, so I figured I would give her a bunch of these bags and stuff um, and uh, include in it I thought because in the baby book I'm also including one of these pins these are so cute but yeah let me take it out of the packaging um, I bought a bunch of these from Amazon and I think I got them in sets of 8 or 10 I don't know but I ended up ordering quite a bit of them and they come with a refill and one of these little jackets so they're in there um hmm I don't know about it they're not expensive uh you pay like a dollar something maybe a dollar for each one but I think they're worth it I love the way they write um I got some I got these from Amazon as I said but I have some from but they're a little different from Marshalls, but they're at home and I can't use them. Let me, yeah, I mean, they're at home. So when I remember, I mean, when we go home this weekend, I'll remember to um, get them. But I'm going to include that in both of those packages that I send off. But that's what I'm doing today. 12 whole minutes of talking and it's just about me completing stuff to mail out. Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at right now and uh, I wish I had another project for you I know today is the week a weekday and uh, a lot of you are at work some of you probably preparing to go to work but uh yeah I am going to try and get some of these uh, videos out well this video out because uh, I want to finish my projects yeah but anyway, you guys, I am going to sit here and finish putting my little guy together. And, uh, yeah, after that, I'm going to see how many more of these little guys I have to do. I think I'm going to have to do quite a few of them because I want to put them on everything. So I think what I'm going to do most of the day are... Today, whenever I feel like I want to just sit and do something, I am going to cut out a bunch of these. Just sit and cut them. And I'll be using my, well, I'm using my Big Shot because the die that, uh, that this little guy is on. Yeah, he is, that die it's pretty big so I don't even use my little Tim Holtz little Sizzix die thing yeah I use the big shot it's still Sizzix but yeah but that's what I'm doing today I'm going to try to get um, a lot of this done and I'll come back and I'll show you the end results but I'm going to try to get some projects done today you guys and uh, hey I'll talk to you later thanks for uh, stopping by. Thanks for all of my new sus subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>